hi everyone welcome back to my channel i just wanted to say thank you for the 500 subscribers and i hope that you all continue to follow me welcome to all those who are new and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you're finding value in my content today i'm going to be sharing a story time on our recent experience at the hillbilly campground and how our situation was dealt with but first let's get into the intro we are the Castanos and we love exploring new adventures as a family. If that is something you're interested in, then continue following for more. In the beginning of the year, my husband booked a tent site at the Hillbilly Campground using their website. He paid half of the fee and was supposed to pay the remainder upon arrival. This was one of the options available at the time of purchase, so we opted for that. Upon our arrival, my husband went to the front desk to check in and was then being told that they could not find his reservation. He then took out the email confirmation and was still being told that they could not find it. Now, could you imagine all of the thoughts running through his mind? To be told this upon arrival after driving for about four hours, the woman at the front desk kept on going to the back and every time she came back to the front, she would attend to the customers that were coming in. I was waiting outside in the car with the kids and I could have seen that all of the people coming in were booking, checking in and leaving. So at this point, I was getting worried. Some time had passed and now it was 5 p.m. in the afternoon. All of these people that came in after us were leaving to check into whatever site they had booked. And here we were still awaiting a confirmation or a response from these people about our campsite. Guys, we were stranded all the way in Muskoka with two kids, not knowing what to expect or what the outcome of this would have been. At this point, I decided to go in and have a chat with the receptionist myself. And again, I was being told that they're still awaiting a word from their manager. Eventually, they came back to us saying that they were going to book us into a cabin for the weekend free of charge. But at that point, we were already exhausted, however, we felt some sort of um, relief. Guys, they booked us into a cabin that was just in front of the highway, which meant that the traffic was ongoing all night, so we all got little to no sleep. The next day, I went to the front desk to voice my concerns, and the receptionist seemed more annoyed than I was. She couldn't understand why I was so upset and made us felt like we were supposed to be happy for the upgrade we got. I honestly didn't mind sleeping in a tent because I'm sure we would have all gotten a better sleep in some peace and quiet and my daughter would have enjoyed it way better since it was her first time camping and she was basically looking forward to sleeping in a tent from the very first day we told her that we were going to go ca camping. Guys, this is not a bad um, campsite or campground, but your first experience of a place really does make or break it. And for us, I don't think we will ever be going back here. I hope you guys all enjoyed this um, story time. And if you like my content, just keep on watching for more. We really did just make the best out of our situation and the time that we were there. So it ended up turning out to a nice day anyways. Um, thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.